Right, does Ozempic give you actually more fat cells? There's an interesting paper here from 2013 when they first started investigating this, these class of drugs, these GLP-1 receptor agonists, and what they found was, yes, indeed, it does cause something called fat cell hyperplasia. Now, hyperplasia means the creation of more cells, whereas hypertrophy means the cells get bigger. Now, here's a couple uh, caveats to this. Uh, hyperplastic small fat cells tend to be insulin sensitive and that is quote unquote a good thing uh, and this drug clearly does this here's a picture of uh, fat cells prior to azempic and then after you can see there's significantly more fat cells in the GLP-1 uh, treated group now here comes the kicker with this you create more fat cells on ozempic studies clearly show that while you're taking the drug, that's okay because it keeps them small and insulin sensitive. But if you ever have to stop taking the drug for any reason, you have side effects, you can't afford it, or some other thing comes up, which is very likely to happen, uh, then those fat cells, which are insulin sensitive, now potentially revert back to becoming insulin resistant as your hunger increases, as you gain more and more weight. And ultimately you have more fat cells to gain weight with. And so this could be a complete disaster. Now, the better thing to do would not would be not to go on the drug because you don't take that risk. Uh, interestingly, here's another interesting study that shows that beef, beef isolate, for instance, actually stimulates GLP-1 in the body in the normal concentration. Remember, this, high, this fat cell hyperplasia is a product of the fact that the doses are, are relatively high compared to what our normal body would do. So interesting. Take those epic, get more fat cells, go off the drug, potentially you're in worse position. All right, guys, take care.